Yo, what's up guys? My name is Kalen Chan and welcome to the Requested Trick Challenge. A series where I will be attempting the various tricks that you guys request in the comments below, no matter how easy, hard, or ridiculous, as long as they have the most likes from other viewers. Our featured trick today for episode one will be the Kong Gainer Kong, requested by my friend, actually, Chris Romrell on Instagram. Now what I want to accomplish with the series is to be able to show the parkour community what goes behind the big tricks that us athletes do and that we are actually not being reckless, not just hucking ourselves and hoping that we land, but there's a lot of calculation, even safe progressions, that lead us to a spot where we can confidently go for these more advanced techniques without putting ourselves in serious danger. No matter what techniques you guys are working on, make sure to stay safe, and I hope that you learn something from this episode, and we'll see what happens. So, let's go. I just ran into Ronnie and Todd. Hey! Just gonna get warmed up and then we'll get started. So first step, I'm gonna do a few con gainers and then I'm gonna see if I can open up a little bit early and plant my hands before I hit. So it's kind of working, kind of not. I'm gonna to try to kick my legs towards the ceiling, see if I can get like the kick cleaner so when I reach for it, I don't just scorpion. So I got a pad here so I can kind of get away with just flopping it like I have been. And then I have this really janky run up. I think I'm probably just gonna like face plant a bit, but it wouldn't be like anything dangerous. We'll see how it feels and then if there's any more progressions, that can make it work a little bit better, then I'll go take a step back and try them. Let's do it. Turns out my biggest issue is I need to get more rotation, so I gotta push hard, and that's why I have both Todd and Ronnie holding this down right now. And then I gotta commit to open up and hopefully hit it with my hands. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So we're taking it to taking off one mat so I have a little bit more room. It seems pretty safe and consistent already to the point where I'm not like hitting my head and the worst that'll happen is my body just kind of flops onto the edge. Alright, so Ronnie and Todd have to go, so I don't have anyone to hold the pad, but they're going to hold it one last time, I'm going to try to do a variation. Instead of doing a Kong, I think I can get a good safety step through, maybe swing a cork out of it. When you guys are going for tricks, if you have specific tricks in your mind that are awesome, and you end up going for it and there's something that makes it really awkward or ridiculously hard. Try to find something that's similar to it, but is also satisfying. All right guys, I think I came up with the solution. So, put this block on here because the pyramid by itself, when it's stacked up all four, is not sturdy and also for some reason the bottom one doesn't have a Velcro, so it's like extra dumb. That's the whole thing with learning new tricks. Just try different setups and make discoveries. The worst that happens is I just kind of flop over my belly on the second one, so no excuses. Oh! 
That was close. Brayden's here now, so got some extra moral support, and we might try some crazy stuff after this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was so oh. close. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, that's it. Woo. So my right foot clipped it, but my leg still went in between my hands, but still Kong. <laughs> Yo! That was so good! What? <laughs> yes! Oh! It was so good! Oh! It was so good! Okay. Alright guys, so... We did it! It was very interesting. It was almost like a flyaway re-grab. When I did the Kong here, I really brought my legs up, but I spotted the block in front of me. And then when I went over, I kicked my legs towards the ceiling, whipped my chest up, looked at it, and I tried to keep my legs towards the ceiling and reach. So this is actually a very, very, very useful thing that you guys can apply to all your tricks that you're learning. That when you're doing any trick, imagine yourself doing it not just first person what you see or what you feel, but imagine what it looks like third person, like if someone's filming it from the side. And I guarantee it will make your technique better. Once you learn the trick that you're trying to learn, do not stop there if your body can do more. There's no reason not to learn more things. And that's how you get good really fast, is you learn a lot of things in one session. Let's go. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Yes! Oh, you... Yo! <laughs> Alright, Britton and I are trying Kong Gainer Swing Corks. Let's see how it goes. Yeah? Yo, oh. Oh. see? It's easier, right? Oh! Oh, yes! Okay. Get it! Oh! Yo! Oh! Yes! Aha, oh. Finally! Easy. Woo! That looked so there easy. Yes. So good. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes. Yes! 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 Oh! Yes! Get it, get it, get it. Yes! Oh, it was so close! Yes! Oh, it was so close! Got it! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! 
Yes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Sick, dude. When I when I took off, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do it. And then I just pulled my feet down. Yes. <laughs> So there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Today was pretty successful. Got the Kong Gainer Kong onto spring floor. Hopefully do it outside one day. Britton and I got Kong Gainer Swing Cork. For the next episode, I want you guys to leave a comment below on what trick you would like to see me and maybe Britton try next. And the one with the most likes by blank date, which I'll put down here, will be featured in the next episode. So thank you guys so much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Kaylin underscore Chan. Follow this guy, Britton Kemp, at what's your Britton underscore Kemp. At Britton underscore Kemp. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.